to the channel everyone it is the baddest man on the planet the infamous one himself the human juggernaut Damien McLeod now this video is very important because of the fact that technique is everything when it comes to working out now, I believe in strict form no matter what you do but there are times when strict form you know can go to the wayside but there are times there are times when strict form has to be implemented to 100%. 100% and nothing less. And that exercise is the bench press. Now we're going to dig deep into Kino Body's chest on this one. Because, listen people. Coming from a guy who says he has you know, tens of thousands, or he said tens of you know, millions of people that he's trained. First of all, you know, because he, you know, his whole Kino body workout thing is, is you know, first of all, we're not even going to go there. <laughs> but no one has trained tens of millions nor tens of thousands. One of the two, he says. Let's just say tens of thousands, give him the benefit of the doubt. No one's trained tens of thousands of people. I mean, come on. Like the average YouTuber knows, you know, uh, he has a whole commercial gimmicky pretty boy persona. But honestly, this video isn't about him, it's about his advice. Honestly, I think this guy should not be giving out fitness advice. That's just my opinion. Because if you're telling tens of thousands of people how to do the bench press the way he's going to be doing it in this video, you are. <laughs> yeah, you're not ready, kid. You're not ready. So, you know, I'm going to touch on a, quite a few things on this. First, we're going to look at this. Check this out. The unwrap. See that? No scapular retraction at all. No scapular retraction at all. It doesn't get set up. A proper bench presser knows that you you rock side to side to make sure you're center. You don't just kind of lay down and just go to benching, especially if you're messing with 315. Now, if you're doing some warm up, I get, you can let that slide. But when you're handling heavy weights like 315, you do not just lay down. Because you don't want to be offset on the bench press. You want to make sure that you restrict your, your scapula. You put the arc in your back slightly. That's all, you know, relative with the arc. You don't have to. But, you know, if it makes you lift better, I do it because, you know, it feels, it feels good. It feels natural. It makes you use more of your pictorial. Now, another thing, as you can see, he hasn't even done the first rep. And his ass is coming off of the bench press. His knees aren't in place, right? His knees are in. Your legs are supposed to be digging into that ground to give you the leverage. And I haven't even shown the first rep yet. Let's go through this first rep. Now, let me say this. When he immediately pulls it off, he's, he doesn't even have full lockout. And he just drops it right down. You're supposed to pull that thing off. Make sure you're set. Mind-muscle connection. That's one thing that a trainer always says, right? Mind-muscle connection. There's no mind-muscle connection in that rack off. He pulls that thing off and just drops it down. That's because the weight's too heavy. Tens of thousands of clients, my ass, doesn't prepare a person for strength. You shouldn't be messing around with 315. This isn't a clean lift. We're gonna go through these reps. Now check this out. Boom. See how his butt's popping off the bench? Look at that space. The struggle there. He's not going to full lockout. He's dropping the weight way too far up. First of all, let's keep going. You see that struggle? Now, me being a veteran bench presser, that struggle right there on that fifth rep with that bad form. Elbows aren't tucked in, elbows are flared out. Your, your internal rotation on your shoulders, you're gonna pop a shoulder if you're lucky. Alright? That's I'm saying if you're lucky because you can pair the you can tear, not pair, you can tear the inner peck. I mean the outer peg right between your front delt and where your peg meets you can pull that and if you pull that with 315 on the bar bro the inertia alone is gonna then bring that tear and it's gonna rip it like everyone right now put up your arms in a bench press motion right like you're bench pressing and you got the bar up like halfway right arms out elbows 
flare it out just like he's doing. Now take your right hand, put it right near your front, near your front delt, and where your pec meets, right there. Now run your hand across your chest. You're gonna pull that. Your muscles go. The strings of your chest muscles go from left to right. They don't go up and down. You're gonna pull from that inner pec. I mean that outer pec all the way to the inner pec, because that's a heavy weight. That inertia is gonna rip that thing like a guitar string. Then you're out. You know what I'm saying? Now there's people in the comment section. I breezed over a few of these comments. You got fanboys in here who don't know anything about anything. You know, kissing ass like they do. Listen, you gotta call it like it is. This is a horrible bench press. He should have went for 275-ish. I wouldn't even say that, to be honest. Because he's throwing up this 315 with bad form. He couldn't do this thing with his ass flat on the bench. He couldn't do it. With his elbows tucked, bringing that thing up right above the nipple area and in, in the safe zone is what I like to call it. You don't want to bring that weight up too far over your face and not too far down. It looks like right now, to be honest, it's not even too far up on these reps. Let me start this over. It looks like the weight is too far down. Due to the camera angle, it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. What's the cameraman would kind of move around the side. But look like it's too far down, like right above his rib cage. And you see how he's like, ugh, he's using his back and everything else to push that thing. Not, not, not his back, but his spine. There's, his legs aren't even in place right. His ass is coming off the bench. This is the most, you know, like I said, to, have, to claim you've trained tens of thousands of people, but you can't even do a simple bench press. Like I said, man, there, there are exercises. I can see you getting away with some cheat curls on some biceps or, you know, probably that's probably it. Anything else you want to do strict form, man. But on the bench press, you have to be 100% strict form. None of this crap right here. This is horrible. Not bashing the guy as a person. I'm bashing this bench press technique. This is horrible. All right, and I've done enough bench press over the years. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm allergic to this shit. <laughs> I've done enough bench press over the years to know. Even as a rookie, my bench press wasn't even as, as bad as this. It's just, this doesn't feel right. His elbows out like that, that's putting all that weight on your shoulders. How many times have you seen tons of YouTube fitness guys say, don't flare your elbows out? Because what's going to happen is you're going to put too much weight on your rotator cuffs and like, like, like a pop. It's going to pop. It's going to pop. All right. You're going to damage your rotator cuffs, especially handling 315 when you can't handle it properly. Anyone can get under here and do a cheat rep like this. He's not going to full lockout at the top, which is really dangerous. He's doing like, I would say, I wouldn't say halfies. But these aren't 100%. He's stopping at about 60, 70, 75 ish if I give him a little, a little leeway. This is a horrible bench press. Like I said again, not bashing the guy. But this is horrible. I mean, come on. You're better than that, kid. This is horrible. 315, no. No. Not, not a single rep. If he was at a company, like he's comparing, like people say, oh, he's not a, a power lifter, but he always brags about how he's stronger than all these power lifters, and he's stronger than this guy and that guy, yet you can't do a proper bench press. I would like to see this guy really just buckle down and focus, you know, like me, like I've spent the last few weeks, um, well, I, actually the last month off of the flat bench. I just got back on the flat bench yesterday. I went and jumped on for a whole month because I, I kind of slightly pulled my left rear delt. It's like it's one of those intuitive things about training that you just have it. You gotta know when to back off. So I got on the machine where it keeps you in a strict state and I just pump those reps out because I don't wanna let the muscles atrophy because I'm not using them, but I'm not risking it because I notice when I'm on that bench and I'm hitting the 260, 275 for the heavier reps, your rear delts come into play. And when you feel that pain in your rear delt, that lets you know you need to stop. You know what I'm saying? And that didn't come from bench pressing like this. I think that came from actually sleeping on my shoulder wrong and then just bench pressing heavy. You know, sometimes things just happen. But this right here, this is death. The dude can kill itself. This is death right here. You know what I'm saying? Just his shoulder gets that pop. Let's just say he doesn't pull the, the pec. Let's say the, the shoulder slides out of socket. 
Dude, you're dropping 315 on your face, on your neck. You'd be lucky if it drops on your neck and not your face. Because that can literally crush your skull. There are people who have been disfigured permanently because of that. This is not one of those things you want to play around with. And the fact that he would even, you know, he should have did some warm up sets and say, you know what? Like, first of all, this is what happens when you have too many yes men around you. Because the dude holding the camera should have said, hey, bro, I should be over there spotting you instead of holding this damn camera. What am I doing over here? You know what I'm saying? I should be over, you should have this thing on a tripod and I should be standing behind you spotting you. Or maybe the guy over there getting some of that nice um, water out of the fountain over there. You should have had him come over and spot you. He looks bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he should be standing there behind you making sure you don't break your face. This is horrible. And the fact that you're putting this out here like this is some amazing thing. I mean, damn, even the fake natties have better form than this. You know what I'm saying? And they have cleaner looking sets. Not all of them. But some of the ones I've seen, they at least know to, re to, to tuck their elbows and retract their scapula. And to press. And to lower the weight. At a, like, he can't, if you can't keep your ass on the bench, you can't lower the, the weight to where you want to lower it to. You can't also focus on keeping your elbows in. Bro. And, like, controlling your back. He's like, it's like he's like a kid doing his first bench press. He's using all of his abs and everything to push that weight up that's supposed to be your triceps your front delts and your um and your pecs are supposed to be pressing this up that's what's supposed to be working not your whole like that's crazy and the leg drive don't forget the leg drive look at his leg there looks like the last knee bender this is horrible let me start this over we're gonna watch this one more time this is utterly ridiculous the song is ridiculous too. see that not controlling it. Elbows are popping out. His elbow, his elbows are actually going in a circle. If you watch those first couple of reps, his elbow as they come down is kind of going like in a circular motion, which means he can't really handle the weight. He doesn't have the stabilizer muscles in play. That's what that is. His stabilizer muscles are weak because when you do too much machine. You're not using any stabilizer muscles. That's why they say you want to use barbells. Now, he says he doesn't do a lot of bench press. Well, if you don't do a lot of bench press and you got some strength from doing machines, you might want to get to the bench press. Lower that weight down. This is, this is a tip right here, people. Lower the weight. Master the reps. That's what this is all about. It doesn't matter how much you bench press. All right? It does not matter. Because if you're doing it wrong, you're going to break yourself. <laughs> like they say, Ugh, break yourself, fool. You're finna break yourself, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't, this is this is horrible. This is the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Look at him. When he got up from there, uh, he cut the camera really fast. Just for copyright reasons, let me pause it. I don't want I want to have a break in between this corny ass song in the background. Watch this one more time. He pulls it up. Doesn't retract the scapula. He just pops his stomach up. Nah, let's watch that again. He just pops his stomach up. No scapular retraction, nothing. Just comes in, whoo, pops up his stomach, and just starts benching. Doesn't even get his arms set. Look at that. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, tens of thousands of clients, that, that start was novice at best. That was a beginner. That was a beginner all the way. Look how... Look how you, can tell he, you can tell he was straining his whole body. He put his whole body into that. His whole body was into that movement. That looked like death waiting to happen, like a, one of the, like Final Destination. He's, like, he was that close to breaking something, man. That was the most horrible bench press I've ever seen. I'm not trying to brag on the guy. I mean, bag on the guy. I'm just, I'm keeping it real, because I don't want people out there thinking that this is how it's done. And clearly it's not. You know what I'm saying? If he, and, and, the, and he doesn't have a spotter. I mean, that dude over there, you know, right there. They got the big ass beard. He could have had him come over and spot at least. You know what I'm saying? You're so worried about your look and this whole pretty boy persona. You got your buddy over there holding the camera. You should have brought your tripod, millionaire guy. You got Lamborghinis and shit. Get a tripod. Have yours. Have someone behind you. Because he was. What's that song? Uh, I'm knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> he was knocking. He was a knocking. And one day it's gonna let you in with a disfigured face because that weight was way too heavy it was out of his range it's just you know what I'm saying? it was out of his range 
just give just chill out lower the weight perfect the movement and then give it a go at a lighter weight it takes time it takes weeks nothing happens overnight we're so used to these fake natties and you know getting these strength gains in in a month or two months the david lay bench press went from bench pressing next to nothing to 390 and we already know what that is now that's all pretty much been exposed you know that's all um alternative fuel sources there i can kind of tell he doesn't have anything in his tank right here because that 315 should have went up a little better than that or maybe he you know might, may, might not be on as much allegedly i don't know but this isn't even about that this is just horrible form this is all about the horrible form that he just showed the world on instagram and is proud of it and you see he has 61,818 views, which means a lot of people just saw the most raggedy ass bench press to ever be performed with 315. That's what that is. That's what I should title this video, Raggedy Bench Press. Like I say, as a trainer, man, I feel I'm obligated to tell people, you know, like I said, you have people have too many yes men around them. His buddy should have said, hey, let me see your 315. Try to get up just one rep. You know, you got warmed up, you hit your push-ups, you're warm. All right, hit one rep. Let me see what it looks like. Because honestly, I would have said, hey, man, I'm not even finna be a part of this. Or let me spot you. We'll prop the camera up on something, zoom the lens in, whatever, or get someone else to hold it. But I can't just sit back and let you attempt that death press. Death press for five reps. You know what I'm saying? You're my ride home, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, yeah, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. Yeah, that's crazy, people. That's crazy. I have nothing else to say about this video. So, you guys, watch it again. Watch that bench press. For, take that in as something not to do ever in life. Practice makes perfect, like I say in my five videos. You can't have one boxing session and think you're Mike Tyson. Practice makes perfect. Practice in everything, including your reps and how you perform movements in the gym because you, literally your life depends on it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, people. Subscribe, subscribe. Until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only fun? But the phony niggas in the world say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.